welcome back to Racing Ramble and today we're going to be rambling on about the Pikes Peak Hill Climb. So I took part in the event in 2015 when I got chance to ride a Ducati Multistrada all the way from Los Angeles to the Pikes Peak Hill Climb in Colorado and then with a few mods to the bike race it to the top. Now it was an incredible event, very unique, a really tough place to learn just like the Isle of Man, lots of corners, many that look the same high speed, lots of risk, but incredible adrenaline, incredible riding experience, especially when you've got your crew there, you're all really a part of it. I was there with the team, not only uh, mechanics, but also on the way to the event, I had my film crew and my camera guys and support. So there was a lot that went in behind the scenes so that we could capture it and give it to you so that you could really enjoy the experience on video and through photographs. But all of that behind the scenes meant that everything that we went through, we went through together. So the long days and the long journeys getting to the event and then also getting up very early in the morning to take part in these practices. So before the main event where we race from the start to the finish, all in one go, there is a lead up to that with some practice days where they actually separate the mountain into three different sections. So what we do on the lead up to the event is practice the bottom section, then we practice the middle section, and then we practice the top section. Now, because this is also a public road that people pay to go up to the top of Pikes Peak during the day, these practice sessions take part very early in the morning. Basically, sun up on top of the mountain is go, and then basically by 8 a.m. it's all over. So you were up there very early in the morning, it's cold and it just gets colder as you get further and further up the mountain. Anyway, I've got some unseen footage for you where we were mounting the camera in different places to get different perspectives to see what would work. And basically because I'm recovering from an injury and I'm not riding, I'm now going through all of my old footage to see what I can share with you. Sorry about the wind noise, but I'm not going to put any music. I'm not going to dampen uh, the experience i'm just going to leave it as raw um you get chance to hear the bike the wind noise of course some vibrations but still hopefully you're going to enjoy the videos so here is the bottom section
So that was the bottom section. Now, so now we go into the middle section, which is just when you come out of the tree line and see boulders for the first time. This section is tight hairpin bends and quickly rising in elevation. It's always a nervous time before the start, always going through your mind, just trying to relax. But you know, what's before you is a tight and twisty track and you can't make any mistakes. And that was the middle section and for me the most fun on that bike uh, because it handled it well and it was one that I remembered easiest out of those three sections. So now to the top section and a different camera angle. Here you're able to see me using my throttle, the front brake and also the body language that you have to to throw the bike around.
So that's it, some unseen footage from my practice runs up Pikes Peak. If you haven't seen the adventure, then check them out in the description. We'll get some links there to the main video and some onboard footage of uh, an entire run from start to finish. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, let me know, hit the comments, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you soon for more content.